Hey guys, welcome back to day 16 of Vlogmas. Today, I have tucked myself in my room. I'm sitting on the floor and behind my bed and the door is over here and I thought I would wrap Christmas presents today and take you guys along with me as I do it. Um, I have told the boys that they can watch a Christmas movie and that I'm wrapping presents in here and not to open the door. If they need me, they can knock on the door and let me know what they need. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna spend some time wrapping a bunch of Christmas gifts today. I've got my Harry and David Moose Munch popcorn that my mother-in-law gave um, me, and there are so many different varieties. There are like six different varieties in here. I don't know if you guys can see all the different ones in this box. Dean and I sat the other night watching a TV show and we ate the entire bag of the Cinnabon popcorn. It was so good, like so good. It is not sugar-free, it's not healthy, it's not like a, you wouldn't eat this if you were on a diet. <laughs> it's really good and it is the perfect thing to snack on while I wrap these Christmas gifts. Um, I also have poured myself a healthy half glass of red wine because it's the holidays and when you're doing festive holiday things like wrapping Christmas gifts, you must have a sweet treat and some wonderfully semi-healthy spirits to lift your spirits. <laughs> At least that's my excuse. Um, so anyway, I think, I'm not actually sure which one of these I wanna try today. I have dark chocolate, milk chocolate, no wait, I let the boys have a milk chocolate one. I have dark chocolate, dark chocolate peppermint bark, cranberry almond and s'mores. I think I'll snack on the dark chocolate because if it's dark chocolate and it's kind of rich, I don't think I'll overeat. <laughs> I don't think I'll overeat on it. Um, we are having butternut squash and sage soup for supper and I have the butternut squash in the oven roasting so it's soft and, whoa, that spilled my wine. That's no good. Anyway, I've got that in the oven and I don't wanna eat too much of this because I wanna be hungry for dinner. We're gonna have some sourdough bread with that. Okay, so I'm gonna push that aside. Thank you, Harry and David, for the delicious holiday treats. Love them so much. All right, so I'm just gonna pour, this is the dark chocolate. Yeah, uh, yeah, dark chocolate. And I'm just gonna pour it in my little bowl here. Ooh, yum. So not all of it's covered in dark chocolate, but some of it. And whatever of this that I don't eat, I will surprise the boys and say, hey guys, you can have some of this, so see? Looks yummy, dark chocolate bits. Some of them are coated in this little like sugary stuff. We'll try my best not to overdo it. Um, okay, so I've got my bag that I keep all of my wrapping paper, um, gift tags, ribbon, bows. Um, actually, the bows that are in here are squished, so I don't have any fresh bows. So what I'm gonna do is just wrap the gifts, maybe put a little piece of ribbon on and a gift tag. And then usually what I do is on Christmas Eve, I add bows to everything because the bows end up falling off. They're a real pain. So I'm not gonna put bows on today. Um, I also have a ton of um, tissue paper, like Christmas tissue paper that I can use if I need to. I don't think anything that I have today will be like in a box and need tissue paper. Most everything is just gonna be wrapped in wrapping paper. Um, so I've got my tape and scissors. Um, let me get my gift tags out. I'm just gonna pull all of these out and set them here on the floor. And I went into the garage where I keep all this stuff and because I had so many Christmas, like rolls of wrapping paper for Christmas, um, a lot of them wouldn't fit in here, and so they were just kind of like laying in the floor, so they were all dusty, so I've got like dust all over me. Um, actually, I think there's only one of these in here that's Christmassy. The rest are like for birthdays, baby showers, weddings, things like that. Um, okay, so I think that's it. Let me pull the ribbon out as well just so that I have everything where I need it. So this, like these are almost used up. I bought this after Christmas sale, I don't even know how many years ago, and it's just some colored ribbon that will match the paper. Um, I've got a thicker ribbon, like this one that's coming undone, and a lot of times I'll just cut this and pull these in half, and I'll have two really skinny ribbons. So these are more festive colors, brighter colors, I guess I should say. 
Um, yeah, and the rest of the ribbon that I have, it's just like more like colored birthday ribbon, so not gonna get that stuff out. I do have some bows that aren't squished, but I think I'm just gonna go with the ribbon. All right, so I'm gonna push this back there and aside. This is actually the only area of my room that's kind of hidden from our door and is cleared out because I'm supposed to have a side table here for our bed, but I'm trying to find antique furniture for our house and I found one table that's on Dean's side of the bed and I'm trying to find another one that matches it in size and shape. Obviously it's not gonna be the same table and that's the look that I'm going for, but it'll sit right here. So anyway, because this is cleared out, I thought this would be like a perfect place to kind of like hunker down and wrap gifts. Um, okay, so wine, popcorn, two necessities when wrapping Christmas gifts, um, tape, scissors, wrapping paper, tags, oh, I don't have, oh, wait, I do have a pen, a pen somewhere, somewhere there's a pen in here, there's supposed to be a pen in here somewhere, uh, hmm, I have a Sharpie, that doesn't work. Actually, I know where I have a pin. Okay, um, and also, all of this Christmas wrapping paper, I would love to have like craft wrapping paper and wrap them in twine and go clip like um, little pieces of like, like uh, conifer branches off the tree and stick them in there or whatever. And I would love to decorate and have all of my presents look like that. But like I said, several years ago, so far, so far back, I don't even remember how long it's been, I went after Christmas shopping and I bought a ton of stuff. I mean, things were just so cheap. I bought a ton of Christmas wrapping paper, a ton of ribbon. I think I bought a bunch of bows. Half of them, like I said, got squished and didn't survive. Um, tons of like tags, like all of these things, oh, like just bags and packages of Christmas tags. So I am trying to use this stuff up so that I don't waste it before I do more natural style wrapping for Christmas gifts, which again, like I said, I would like to do. So I have um, this one that says Merry Christmas and Let It Snow. It's silver and red. And then I have this one that just has Christmas trees and it's gold and black. And then this one, which obviously I've wrapped with a little bit because it's kind of falling apart, but these are silver and black little baubles and decorations. And then this last one right here is silver, red, and white and it just has snowflakes all over it. So these I try to do more for like my mom um, my dad, my in-laws, my um, brothers and sisters-in-laws, like more adults. And then for the boys, which I am running low on this, um, it just says Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. It is craft paper colored um, and it's green and white and red and some silver on there too. So this is what I will wrap all of the boys' Christmas gifts in. So it's easy to kind of tell whose gifts are whose. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to set all of this stuff aside. And then I'll go grab some gifts and I will start wrapping. And I should actually quickly say, if any of my family members are watching this video, you might want to not watch this one because you may see what you're going to get. And then it's not as fun knowing what gift we got you. So turn it off now if you're watching this video and you're gonna get a gift from me for Christmas. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so let me grab some presents and make a little bit more space and I'll show you guys um, what I'm wrapping and we'll just have a little Christmas wrap party, chit chat kind of video today for
all your yeah, those, those are all hey, those are all guys, mommy's. Guys, um, so mama, this one's hold on just a second. Ezra. Raya and Ezra. Is Let's see, Ezra, two of those are yours, and they're really big. I know, and yeah. this one is also my nice. giant one. He's got this giant one and this little one, and I've got those two. I set mine aside because I didn't want anyone touching them. <laughs> okay. Mama, all right, so we've got more a, to go. Is yeah. this gonna be a big present? Because mm -hmm. it's a big. It is a big present, yeah. I think this one is going to be a good tie. I no, that's, that's it gets for Uncle more. Josh. There is a big one for Uncle Josh. I think it's under Ezra's other one. All right, boys. We still have more presents to go and to wrap and stick under there. So you guys need to not touch them. No touching, no shaking, none of that stuff. Like I wrap shake mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like Of course we did. But Yours? this mm -hmm. one... Okay guys, so it's getting pretty late and I finished wrapping almost all of the Christmas gifts that I have here. Um, we should be getting a few more in the mail and we may have a couple shops to go to to grab um, a couple of things that we can't get online or um, just some little last minute gifts that we need to get from a store. And then I will have another day of finishing up and wrapping those gifts. So. This guy totally interrupted my videos. <laughs> anyway, um, I am finished up, so I hope you guys enjoyed this last day 16 of Vlogmas, and I will talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow. Bye.